Hello guys, you are welcome to Dr. Mo's blog. Today we are going to be discussing uh, another topic and the topic of today is sorghum bicolor plant and luteolinidin. Sorghum bicolor plant and luteolinidin. Now, uh, this appears, this is a mouthful, isn't it? But don't worry, we'll break it down in the next few minutes. Sogum bicolor, otherwise known as guinea corn, is a wonder plant of sorts. Now, the variety of sogum bicolor I'm talking about is the dye sogum or the black sogum. Now, this is the sogum that has, that the seeds have a black uh, cuticle or husk. So when next you go to the farm, take a look at the, the sorghum bicolor plant, you find out that the stem and the leaf sheets have a deep orange coloration. Now this deep orange coloration is as a result of a, a flavonoid that is called luthiolinidin. luthiolinidin. Now, the sogum bicolor is a very hardy plant by nature, and to survive, it needs a, 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 an, an armamentarium of defensive molecules so that it can survive the stress in its environment and the external against external invasion. And so, it has luciolinidine, which is one of the most powerful. Um, flavonoids in existence. But that is not only enough for sorghum bicolor. It has a cocktail of other uh, bio, uh, flavonoids, including luteolin, luteolin, not the same as luteolinidine. You have epigenin, which we discussed the other time. And then you have nangenin and a, a, a large number of flavonoids that it has and uh, this, all these molecules are there in order to help it defend itself against environment. Now the good, the good thing about uh, sorghum bicolor is that it is widely farmed all over West Africa, India and Asia. It's not an exotic herb like parsley so it's easily available to to everyone around. Now, do people know about this? Yes, a couple of people know. The Yoruba, for instance, in their folk medicine, use alcoholic or, or aqueous extracts of that deep orange dye called utolinidine as part of their folk medicine, and they call it Okababa. Now, they use it as a medicine, but they do not use it as, as food. But when you go to Togo, Ghana, and Benin Republic, they actually use this dye as a colorant for food. So, and they call it the wakye. The, spe the spelling is wakye, but they pronounce it wache. Now, this dye imparts a deep orange or ox blood uh, color to their rice, which is called wache rice, or beans, which it may be called wache beans. Now, in these parts of West Africa, uh, particularly in Nigeria, people don't seem to know that it can be used as food. In fact, in the north, it is used as a dye to stain baskets. That's the only use they have for it in the in the in the south, in the north rather. So. Why is luteolinidine so important? Well, luteolinidine has the same effects as epigenin. It's a CD38 inhibitor. It prevents cancer. It increases sensitivity of cancer cells to chemotherapy. It induces apoptosis in precancerous cells. It increases neuroplasticity by... Um, <coughs> 
by preventing the deposition of amyloid plaque and other forms of plaques in the brain. So it has it's essentially the same function with epigenin. It also counteracts toxins that might affect the liver and the kidney, particularly the aflatoxins. In fact, one of the stimulus for uh, luteolinidine product, uh, uh, synthesis in the sorghum bicolor plant, when you see the sorghum bicolor plant that has this florid, deep orange color, it means that it is responding to attack by uh, fungal species like uh, aspergillus flavors, which, is, which has been in, uh, implicated in the causation of primary liver cell cancer. Now, what is special about sorghum bicolor? One, it has luteolinidine and luteolin, which are even more powerful than parsley. Okay, luteolinidine has about two times the uh, effectiveness in this regard as parsley. So you can see that you don't even need any exo exotic plant to benefit from flavonoids. Now, the, the, the tragedy of the whole situation is that when people farm, they just harvest the sorghum seeds and leave the, 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 the stem and the leaves out in the fields to rot, or they are burnt, or they are fed to animals. They do not realize the, the gold that lies therein. Apart from these flavonoids, which are present in the leaves of, uh, of uh, sorghum bicolor, if a roll call of the nutrients will surprise you, it contains proteins, it contains carbohydrates, but most importantly, it also contains mono and polyunsaturated fats like oleic acid and linoleic acid, which are what you are pursuing when you go and buy olive oil. And that is what is thought to be partly responsible for longevity in, in Mediterranean diet. So you can see that apart from it having powerful flavonoids, it also has enough nourishment. And therefore, the, the, the most important part of the sorghum bicolor plant should actually be the leaves. But, you know, we ignorantly destroy them because we do not know the value. And the scientists that have done this research, they, they just leave them in the journals. They, don't, they do not bother to enlighten the people. Because if the people are enlightened, they will even value the leaves of sorghum bicolor more than the, 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 the seeds. Now, you can, you, you can grind it into a powder and use it to thicken your soup. You can to, you know, to color your, your rice, your beans, and any food you want, much like uh, turmeric is used, so that you, you need little oil to augment. And also the fact that it has all those nutrients is also uh, something that uh, recommends it. Now, in my village in those days, when they prepare aqua before they parboil it, they will wrap them in sorghum by color leaves before they, they boil them. Now, I was wondering, why not maize leaves? Why not other leaves? Why sorghum by color leaves? Why sorghum by color leaves? Now I, I know. Maybe the villagers intuitively knew that those leaves, by parboiling their apple in uh, sorghum by color leaves, may, may, may enrich the apple with all these nutrients that I have, uh, have outlined. Unfortunately, these days, because of pseudo modernity, what people are using to wrap apple now is poly, polythene bag or plastic Santana bags. And when you hit apple with this with uh, sod bags, there's a likelihood that it will release microplastics into the apple and therefore 
making it potentially carcinogenic. So guys, you know this now, try and introduce uh, sorghum bicolor leaves into your diet. You can drink it as a tea in the morning or as part of a tea cocktail where you know you 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 just boil its tea bags green tea with a few leaves of sorghum by color and that orange color will fade into it and all the nutrients that are outlined will fade into it and you will drink it every day it should be something that you do every day and that's what I, I do that every day and it will help you to live a healthier life a long life with a good health span thank you very much please don't forget to like this video to help my algorithms subscribe hit the not notification bell thank you very much